All right, so part of your guys' project for this assignment is a presentation. And for this presentation, um, you need to have some images of your models. And I know in our video game class, we have never done this because you guys didn't need to take rendered images because they're just inside your guys' engine. So you might need this in, in 3D animation for um, showing off your guys' artwork and showing your models. And for a video game, this is good to have if you're using it for game art. So, for example, if you're making posters or, like, images for the back of your uh, video game or you're doing a art book it's good to be able to take these photos before you guys put them in the, the engine so um, Maya has a, a rendering system called Arnold that's built into it so we're gonna go ahead and click on Arnold and right here there's a Sun or there's a sky dome the difference is is uh, the sky will give you like unreal has and unity has like a, a, a sunlight if you click on uh, create sky dome it gives you guys the imagery of this a, a, a white light that kind of shows off your models so it just depends on what you want it to look like in your video game picture so if I click on the Sun it's gonna create a Sun dome now you guys can see it still hasn't taken a picture so to take a picture it's this little action take box um, it's called re render current frame and if you remember back in the old movies you see action or cut <clears throat> that's the what it looks like if you click on that it will take the photo now a couple things one um, <clears throat> if you press this play button if you make any adjustments to the lighting or move around in your scene it will re-render the image for you in real time so this is kind of cool when you're working and you want to kind of see like oh I want this really good picture of you know my model here you can keep zooming in until it's like oh I want to get out of this ticket booth you guys can see in real time what your rendering looks like. And again, this should look like 90%, 100% of what it's going to look like in Unreal also. So that's what's kind of cool is you're kind of seeing what it will look like in Unreal before you even put it over there. Um, so let's say you want, you know, you want to save that image. You just go to File, Save Image. Now, this is really important too, guys. Last period, a lot of kids were having troubles finding their images after they took the pictures. You want to click on this PC. You want to go to your F drive, and you want to make sure you find your folder. You want to put it in your images folder, guys. So you guys should have an images folder that you're going to put it in so you guys know where it's saved. You don't want to just save them in the default folder because you guys won't have access to it. You also don't want to just save it in random places. So you want to make sure you guys put it in your images folder so you guys can find it. So you guys can see I put all my images in there too. So I could just put this sign so I know it's my sign. You also want to change this to JPEG. So some of your guys' computers will have access where you can actually change the file type to JPEG. Please do that. So you want to change it to JPEG because you want to save it as an image. Once you do that, one, it makes it easier, guys, for it to put it on your presentation slide deck. But two, it makes it so you can save all your images. And that's why I was saying if you collect all your guys' models into one scene, you could just go through and take all the different pictures you need to take. So it's like, oh, I need to take one of my model of my statue. I need to take a picture of my sign entrance, I need to take a picture of my ticket booth entrance, I need to take a picture of my restaurant or chair or bench. This gives it so you have access to all those things that you guys need to take pictures of. You do it all at once and then drag them onto your presentations.